Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the call, you guys. Welcome to the call. I'm so super excited about tonight's uh, call. It's definitely going to be life-changing. If you're just getting the call right now, please take the time to um, get you some, <laughs> some get you a pen. Hold on, somebody coughing. Get you a pen, get you some paper, and get ready to take some great notes. Um, also, go ahead, state your name, and let us know what city, state, or dimension you're calling in from. If you're just getting in, come on, go ahead and state your name. Let us know where you're calling from. Tonight's going to be a fabulous call, you guys. We're going to be dropping down a whole bunch of information that you didn't even learn in school. So if you're just coming in here, state your name. Let us know where you're calling from. Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Pete, and I'm calling from the fifth dimension. Let's go from the fifth dimension, <laughs> Pete. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anybody else, welcome to the call. Hi, this is Sunshine calling from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, North Cackin Lackey. Welcome, welcome, Sunshine. So glad to have you here. If you're just coming on, go ahead and state your name. Let us know where you're calling from. What's happening? This is King. I represent Cincinnati, Ohio. 513. Let's go, 513 Ohio. That's where my dad's from, man. Welcome to the call. Happy to have you here. Anybody else just coming to the call? Welcome to the call. This is Letitia Tyler from Birmingham, Alabama. Let's go. Bama in the house. Bama in the house. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're going to be starting here in 30 seconds. If you got any friends and family members that you want to invite, you guys, we have a couple of uh, spots. Now would be the time to get them on this phone, get them on this information. If you got a spouse or a lover, make sure they're watching this information with you guys. We're going to get started in 10 seconds. State your name and let us know where you're calling from. What's up, everybody? It's TJ from Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's go, Cincinnati. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, I'm going to be your uh, speaker today. My name is Isis Love, you guys. And um, we're here today. Let me pause my music. We're here today for a financial evolution, right? Um, you know, I don't know about you guys, but, you know, growing up, um, I, I had to ask myself this question. I had to ask myself, Isis, how can you get your money to work for you versus you exchanging your time and energy for money? Because check this out, family. I don't know about you guys, but my whole life, I have seen my mom and dad argue about money, fight about money, right? Their money wasn't working for them. They were the slaves for the money. And I knew as a young child, that is not how I wanted my life to be. So, you know, two and a half years ago, you guys, I found myself in a situation where I was homeless, living in, in my car and living in the shed and at different people's house. And, um, you know, that question came back into my mind, like ISIS, <laughs> How can you get your money to work for you versus you having to work long hours, be at a job you don't want to be with, be around people you don't want to be with? How can you still make money? How does the rich and wealthy do? So tonight, that's what we're going to be showing you guys. We're going to be showing you guys how to switch lanes 2020. This 2020, we're going to be switching, showing you how to switch from the left side of money to the right side of money. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but did you know that there were only four ways legally to make money in the whole wide world? Did anybody know that? Anybody? Not a lot. No, you said you didn't? All right, so check this out, right? I want y'all to look at my little small whiteboard I'm about to pull up, right? Give me a second. Let me get a marker. Key, is there a marker up there? Let me get a marker, y'all, because I got. I want y'all to see this. And this is going to give y'all, while I look for my marker, Oh, I got one. Thank you. While I look for my marker, I want you guys to write this down because here's the thing, parents. If you don't know about financial literacy and who you think is going to teach your children, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is going to teach your children about financial literacy if you don't know about it and the school's not going to teach them? See, what happens is we set our generation up for failure by not educating ourselves. So each and every person on this phone, it is your due, it's your right, right, to become the first financial person in your bloodline. So check this out, you guys. We have the cash flow quadrant, right? The four ways of making money. The first way is the employee, 
right? The first way is an employee. Now, when you think about an employee, you're thinking about somebody who probably makes about, works like a nine to five, right? Most people work nine to five, eight to five, eight to six, but it's around that time, right? Normally they have a job. Now, who knows what job really stands for? Who knows what job really stands for? Anybody? Just over broke. Just over broke. Just over broke. I want y'all to really listen to this real quick. A job stands for just over broke, meaning they give you, think about it, y'all know, they give you just enough money to pay them bills and just enough money to still keep it up with the Jones. You get what I'm saying? Something got to change, y'all, because here's the thing. Big dreams can't be fun with a job. Some of you guys got big dreams. You want to give back to the community. You know, you want to be able to, you know, give the charities. You, some of you guys got some big goals. And let's just face it, if you can barely get a 50 cent raise, how do you think that you're going to really be able to give back to the community? We have to change, you guys. So check this out. So why do people just stay at a nine to five that they don't want to be at? It's because they're poor. Now, we're not talking about per se poor in the pockets. We're talking about poor in a mindset. Check this out. Poor stands for passing over opportunities repeatedly. When you ask God for a financial increase, when you ask God for a change, God's just not going to be like, here you go. Here's a increase in your money. God is going to bring you messengers, going to bring you situations. She's going to bring you all type of things into your life. But the people was really what's going to be that blessing. So there, you have passed up so many offerings that God has gave you. She's placed it right in front of your face, but you keep passing over opportunities repeatedly, right? So check this out, you guys. 60% of people are employees. I want you guys to think about how many people that you know over their 60. Anybody know over 60 still working? Yeah, I do. You got I it. Do. Yes, me too. Okay, okay. Now check this out, you guys. 401k, Social Security, all this stuff is phasing out, you guys. You need to, um, people think they're so secure but, but uh, behind that 401k check. Uh, you, I mean, uh, whatever it is, saving retirement, you need to read about that, you guys, because they're actually taking people's money. So, um, you know, we have to do something different. Now, this goes down to self-employed. Now, when you think about self-employed, you think about somebody who has a hair shop, right? Uh, somebody that maybe, let's just say, they cut lawns and things like that. Now, guess what? They don't have a boss, right? But it's like their job owns them because they don't have any leverage. So if I was to do somebody's hair, I had to do all the client's hair. How am I going to be on the beach, right, when I got to do people's hair? How am I going to be at my child's soccer game when I got to do people's hair? I mean, you get what I'm saying? So it's like you got money when you're self-employed, but you still ain't got no time. And let's just face it, we want, if y'all want the time and the money, let me, come off mute and let me know that you want the time. I do. Let me know if you want the time and the money. Whoa, whoa. I definitely do. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The time and the money, y'all. So check this out. 35% of people are on or self-employed. So this is the left side of money. If we add these numbers up, 95% of the world are employees or self-employed. Think about it. I want you to really think about that, right? Now, remember, we want to, if you're on this side of money right here, and then you're not working on being on this side, then this is what we're doing tonight. Because being on this side is going to always cost you time and energy, labor, time, energy, labor right? So business owner. Now, when we think about business owner, who do we think about when we think about a business owner? Verizon. Yeah. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Okay. Anybody else? Apple. The guy who do Apple. So check this out. What makes these people differ from the people down here is they got leverage. So whatever job you work at right now, I guarantee you the owner of that job is not there. They got you. You the leverage. They can be at the beach. They can be at their child's game. They can be traveling the world because they have leverage. That's what you're missing in your life is leverage. Leverage equals time and more money. These people have systems. Does anybody know what systems stand for? It stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. You save yourself so much time, so much energy. Think about how tired you are. 
at work. Think about how tired you get home. You got to get the kids prepared. You got to cook dinner. You got to lay them down. And then you got an easy, messy time to yourself. Do you want to continue to live your life like that for 40 years? What we're going to be showing you today is how you can retire in 52 weeks versus 40 years. 40 years of a lot of hard work, right? So check this out, you guys. Why is it that only 4% of people are business owners? Why are we popping out more employees than we're popping out more business owners? Because our schools are not educating our kids. That's why I need you to write this down. Don't just listen. You got to write this down, right? So check this out. The investor quadrant. Now, there's only 1% of the investor. Now, an investor, guess what they get to do? They get to wake up when they done sleeping. When I wake up in the morning, I don't wake up because of an alarm clock. I don't wake up because, oh gosh, I gotta, you know, get up, you know, prepare breakfast and all of this and get ready to like beat traffic to get to work. You guys, what I'm about to show to you, show you guys tonight, I do full time for my cell phone. I'm literally traveling the world making money off a of cell phone app. Because the way the times are moving, think about it. We're watching Netflix. Blockbuster is gone. Video Hut is gone. Things are changing, so you gotta be in front of the wave, you guys. So check this out, there's only 1% of investors, they wake up when they wanna wake up, and their money is making money for them. Let me ask y'all something. When you go to sleep at night, does your bills stop? Anybody tell me, does your bills stop when you go to sleep at night? No, ma'am. Let me ask you this, does your nope. money stop? Does your money stop when you go to sleep at night? Yep. Yes, ma'am, most people. So this is so this is what because I want y'all to know tonight this ain't no this ain't no this ain't no presentation this is literally a community conversation because we got to get real with us at the end of the day so I want y'all to think about that if you're on the left side of money you're not making money on its own if you're on the right side of money your money is working for you when you sleep how is it that your bills don't stop but your money stop we gotta think about that right. And why is it that 5% of the world own 95% of the money and 95% of the world gives the money to the 5%? You got to think about it. What side do you want to be on? Ask yourself, right? Ask yourself this. What side are you on and what side do you want to continue to be on? Because it's beyond you. Sometimes we get so comfortable. Oh, I make a 15 an hour, 18 an hour. That's cute. But is it generational wealth? Can you pass that job down to your child? It's beyond you. It's about your bloodline, right? So check this out, you guys. Has anybody heard about the Forex market, the foreign exchange market? Yes. Anybody heard about stocks? Yep, I have. All right, anybody else? All right, yes. so check Okay, cool. So check this out. I want to give y'all a, a couple fun facts on the difference between stocks and Forex. Both are great investments that you can learn how to multiply your money, right? But we're going to speak about more on Forex, but I just want to show you the difference and the benefits for trading Forex versus stocks. Not to say that there's anything wrong with stocks. Now, the stock market is a $22.6 billion a day uh, market, right? That means every day, there is 22.6 billion being circulated in that market. Now with Forex, it went up. It's a 6.0 trillion dollar a day industry. This is what I want y'all to think about. This is like a grain of rice and a freaking elephant, right? Like it's bigger, right? And so stocks is with companies. So when you think about stocks, you think about buying stocks in Apple, buying stocks in Netflix, you know what I'm saying? Buying stocks in Tesla, right? Now when we're doing uh, Forex is like currency. It's like the U.S. dollar against the Japanese dollar, the Japanese dollar against the New Zealand dollar, the New Zealand dollar against the um, British pound. So we're just exchanging currency. So if me and you were to go to Thailand with, <clears throat> let's just say, $500 American, we can live very lavish in Thailand because the value of Thailand's dollar is down. So our money will be worth more. So we'll have more purchasing power to buy more of their currency to live lavish. So on a short scale, that's what the Forex market is, the foreign exchange market, you guys. So check this out. What I really love about it is when you are a Forex trader, you're literally becoming your own boss. And put in the chat bar, if you guys want to become your own boss, I want you to write the word boss. 
Because here's the thing, we're all grown, right? And here's a hard pill to swallow, but I want you guys to really think about it. We're all grown folks. And if we gotta ask people when to go to on lunch, we got to ask people when we can take off. we got to call in when we're sick. We're not really that grown. You get what I'm saying? So we got to boss up our lives. So when you have Forex Market, the Forex Market is open five days a week, and it's open 24 hours, whereas is the stocks. It's open five days a week, you guys, but only from 9 to 5. So if you get off work before 5, uh, oh, I see. If you get off work before 5, you guys, then you're going to be kind of stuck because you're not going to be able to trade, right? Now, two things I'm going to give you before I show you this dynamic academy, you guys, is with stocks, you only can make money when the market is down. With Forex, we're making money when the market goes up and when the market goes down. So there's no limitation on your money. You're making money when the market rises up, and when the market rises down, you just sell against it. Stocks, you're only limited to wait until the stock goes up. Best thing that I love to share, and I say the best for last, you guys, how many of you guys have heard about the recession? I have. Anybody else? I have. So check this out. If y'all didn't know, now you about to know, right? So uh, every seven to 10 years, a recession happens where the, the US dollar makes a correction, right? And when it makes a correction, what happens is the US dollar goes down. So when people have their money in stocks and the real estates, depending on how you play the game, you're gonna be on the downfall. Where if you focus on stock, the, the Forex market, the Forex market is recession proof. The recession will not affect the uh, forex market if the dollar crashes guess what we'll use another currency that's stronger than it to be able to capitalize off the drawdown so it's very 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 powerful if you guys are liking what you're hearing so far i just want you to drop a 77 in the chat bar so check this out you guys i want to share my screen right because you're probably wondering okay this sounds pretty cool but i still don't really know much about forex so check this out you guys like I said, when I was in my situation, you know, kind of living in my car, I didn't know anything about Forex either, you guys. But one thing is for sure is that I believe in myself. And I think that this is what this really takes is belief in oneself, right? Because, yes, it's very new. It may look intimidating. It may look confusing. But who... Who doesn't like a good challenge? A challenge is what expands you in and makes you a better version of you, right? If you always want to take the easy route in life, how do you expect to grow? So what I love about this, you guys, is it's just like going to school for the first time learning something new. I don't want you guys to think any differently. If me and you wanted to go to class for the first time to learn how to play the piano, do you think as soon as we sat in front of the piano and we looked at the, the notes, we were going to understand it? No. Right. It didn't take it took you a while to walk. It took you a while to write. It took you a while to spell. It took you a while to talk. Right. It took a while, but you got it. Needless to say, you guys. So what I want to show you guys is, you know, this is not one of those get rich. Uh, what is this called? Get rich schemes or fast or whatever. I don't know. Some type of scheme fast. That's not what this is. Could you be able to see profit from this market in two weeks? Yes. Can you be able to see profit in this market in, in three months? Yes. It all depends on how much, can, how consistent you're going to be and how dedicated you are. That's the only thing that separates who makes money in two weeks, who makes money on the first day, and who makes money in six months. That's what, how that dictates that. So what I want to show you guys is, um, oh, yes, I'm in the Hall of Fame. Yes. So I'm in the Hall of Fame on here. So I didn't even notice. This is like my government name that everybody kind of knows. But I've been through this academy so many times where I'm, I'm on the uh, the Hall of Fame. So I'm gonna have to check that out, you guys. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that, for real. Hold on, you guys, let me take a picture real quick. I don't want it to disappear, like, wow. So you can just see how dedicated I am about learning this skill set, you guys, especially with my community, because I just can't say it was like, just me by myself. Like me and my community, we get on here and we learn this skill set uh, with each other, you guys. So so check this out. So, um, you know, this academy is so dynamic because even if you don't know about Forex, it's going to walk you through. So what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the academy. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to, go to some of the videos. So let me ask you all this, and I want you all to be real. How many of you guys can honestly say that you spend about uh, 30 minutes to an hour on social media? Yep. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Anybody else want to keep it real?
Anybody else? Nobody? No, so nobody. Yeah, I do else. sometimes. Okay, okay. I'm about to say nobody. Sometimes else. I do. All right, all right. Look, y'all, keep it real with y'all self tonight. Y'all ain't got to keep it real with me because at the end of the day, you know what side of money you're on. So, you know, definitely mm-hmm. just, 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 like I said, this is a conversation. Like, I, I tuned in here to help you guys. I'm literally about to fly out to LA tomorrow um, and, and join, like, basically, like an entrepreneurial's, like, kind of like, award shows with Rob partner you guys so i'm really just taking the time out to help you guys learn this so we can get you to the right side of money so let's do this let's be straight up let's be real so check this out you guys so um this is for the people who said that they invested about 50, uh, 30 minutes to an hour on social media now i know some of y'all didn't keep it real but i know y'all be on there too scoping out them instagram stories so check this out so these videos, you guys, it's only about two hours and 30 minutes. Now, if you just told me that you invested 30 minutes on social media, then that means within three to four days, if you would take out the 30 minutes of social media and put 30 minutes here, you could be finished with this academy in one day if you're a real superstar, right? You can be finished in two days. You can be finished in three days. It, I mean, three days. It shouldn't take you longer than 72 hours to finish a two and a half uh, hour um, course. You get what I'm saying? It shouldn't. And remember, when you're on social media, that's not making you any money. When you go scroll down on other people's timeline, does that change your bank account? Right? So you're just wasting countless time. Time is your greatest asset. You can't get your 20s back. You can't get 17 back. You can't get your 30s back. Right? So that means you got to dedicate your time to stuff that's going to bring you results. So why not watch? So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is this video is only 2 minutes and uh, 24 seconds. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I want to show you guys the graphics and just show you how this academy is literally walking you step by step, right? You, there's no need to research because, see, a lot of people are going to be like, well, you know, I need to research first. You guys, the only thing that you should be researching is your bank account. That's the only thing you should be researching. You should be researching, researching why in the last past five years, the amount of money that has flown through your bank account, why haven't you made any money off of that? That's what you need to research, right? Because everything that you need to know about Forex is in this academy. Everybody who joins this journey, I want to say about 95% of people who join this academy, which is over 200K people all over the world, nobody really knows about Forex until they go here, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you have that, well, I need the research first. We already told you Forex is the foreign exchange market. It's a 6.0 uh, um, industry. We gave you the facts. So basically when you research, you're gonna be researching the facts again. The ins and outs of the academy uh, will show you how to trade Forex. So let me just play this video. My not work because of the internet speed. Welcome to the IML Academy. In this video, we're going to discuss what is Forex. Forex or FX is short for foreign exchange. So I kind of already gave you the facts before, but I wanted to show you guys with some good notes. Think about when you write notes, you just write key points down. That's all you got to remember is just key points. You don't have to remember everything for ver- verbatim because, <clears throat> excuse me, real learning comes from doing, right? So we walk you through phases. Phase one is just to get the vocabulary. So you guys, we can go through these different videos. I just kind of want to show you that they're not long. Like I said, this one's two two minutes and 24 seconds. Um, I think this one is uh, three minutes as well. Just clicking on something. The longest video I feel like is, I think, 14 minutes or something like that. So it's not going to take you long to get through, you guys. So if you think that you don't have time, you do have time. Right, you really do. <clears throat> and if you're not on social media, you're doing something else that doesn't produce results that you want. So let's just face it. So like I said, this is only three minutes and nine seconds. So check this out, you guys. The next thing I kind of want to show you, and I want you guys to know, you know, to become a member, this is not a free membership, you know, obviously. Just like 
you don't really go to school for free now unless you got some type of like scholarship or something like that so i want you guys to know like in 2020 you got to start investing in yourself in 2020 you got to start investing it into your education because we'll be so quick to go out to keep up with the joneses and get the the newest this and the newest that and the newest iphone i mean are we like on iphone 14 now and then the 15 is going to come out and then the 16 and we just keep putting ourselves in debt more and more on these things that don't bring us no money you guys so let's switch gears 2020 so what you see right here and i want you guys to be honest with me right let me be honest with you so i want to know what is your favorite show like do you watch netflix tv hulu whatever youtube what is your favorite show i'm gonna go ahead and start it off i love to watch the game of throne whenever i have time to watch it what about you guys Steve Harvey, family, family Feud. Family Feud, let's go. They winning money on there. Anybody else? I like to watch IML TV. Let's go. That money making TV. I fool you on that one. Anybody else? Gotta have a sports center. Hey, gotta see who playing who in that game. Anybody else? Now I know y'all watching TV on here. Keep it real with yourself now. All right, so check this out. So for y'all know what y'all favorite show is, right? Now here's the thing, you guys, right? And it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow, but it's something I had to really look at myself, right? I had to really look at myself. Now I told you I do watch TV, but I gotta make time for TV, right? Because here's the thing, you can't be entertained and broke. It just don't work. Like you can't be, how you gonna be on the couch laughing about what's going on on power What's going on on The Walking Dead? What's going on with Atlanta Housewives? What's going on with the sports channel? You can't be on the couch laughing and worry about what's going on with them when your bank account look like gas prices. You notice I said I had to make time for TV. It's something I have to make sure I hit all of my goals and then make time for it. Some people, that's the staple thing they do. They get home. They just done, they ready to sit down on that couch in that bed, get in them covers, flip that TV on, and get ready to be entertained and go to work tomorrow. We gotta change 2020, y'all. We gotta change 2020. So check this out, you guys. Why I like this is because our traders are making six and seven figures. Some people pushing eight figures. So they're gonna be showing us how to get to the money versus when we're watching TV, them people are not trying to show us how to be actors, right? But we getting them paid, you know what I'm saying? When we arguing about whose basketball team is better than another team, that takes a lot of energy. Who cares what basketball team is better than another team? Is it paying you that they better? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? 2020, we got to open up our minds. A lot of people walking around sleep. I want y'all just to uh, comment in the uh, comment, comment bar, stay woke. Because a lot of y'all sleep. Right? I'm not even talking to a lot of y'all on this phone. There's probably about 15 people on this phone. I'm probably only talking to about three. So if that's you, you know it's you. So check this out, you guys. And this is just like your TV guide at the house. You're going to see what time the fight coming on. You're going to see what time Atlanta coming on, what time Game of Thrones coming on, The Walking Dead. You know how that TV guide look. Now, with this TV guy right here, though, this TV guy right here, this TV guy, this TV guy is going to help you pay off that Sally Mae loan. This TV guy is going to help you be able to travel the world like you want to travel the world. This TV guy is going to get that brand new car that you want. You know that brand new car that you want, but do you think your job is going to get you to that car? And if it is, do you know how many years it's going to take for you to work that job just to get that car, just to pay off them Sally Mae loans? Think about that. Right, what we're showing you is a trillion dollar opportunity to change your life. So if you see, like I said, it's different colors, nationalities, creeds of people. Let's just click on able. So these people come on Monday through Monday, educating and teaching you about how to trade. They're literally walking your hand, holding your hand and walking you through. So just like you guys are able to like comment in a chat bar how you are now, you're able to do it when you're talking to these live educators. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of the video just so you can kind of like get a behind the scenes. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not. That's one of the educators. How many guys this is brand new for you? He's talking. It, 
Oh, I like this. So basically, he's giving a lesson. He's like, you know, some of the demons of trading is lazy. A lot of people just super lazy. That's why a lot of people don't attain financial literacy because they're too lazy, right? Insecurities, too tired, doubt, greed, patient, mind, mind clause. So not only are they teaching you how to become a trader and all get to the money, get to the money, they're training your mindset, you guys. Money is a mindset. It's a mindset because it's a skill set. It's education. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't know how money works, how are you able to spot it? We're teaching you how to spot money. We're teaching you how to grow your money from a small amount to a big amount, you guys. So check this out. Here goes the comment bar. Like I said, you can always uh, type in here and comment. People are like asking questions and different things like that, you guys. Um, if you scroll down a little bit more, here are his recorded sessions, just in case you can't watch it, uh, cause you gotta be at work or something. Favorite sessions is right here. A lot of sessions people like. So I really love this, you guys, cause it's the TV that's gonna change your life. Think about your children. Think about what they're watching right now. Are they watching anything that's gonna grow them or are they just watching stuff to keep them entertained? They crying, they complaining, you just shove the iPad and shove your phone in their face just to keep them entertained. What about keeping them entertained with some information that's gonna change your bloodline, right? You got your children sitting down right with you watching this, right? So we're talking about life-changing opportunities right here. So this last thing I'm gonna show you guys, and I'm not gonna take up any more of your time because I wanna overcook the grits. Like I said, to me, it's self-explanatory. You know, if somebody's teaching me how to, I mean, I went from living in a car. I went from living in the shed, not managing my money. I never managed my money. I never, you know, budgeted my money. Like from budgeting and saving my money, you guys, I have been able to change my lifestyle up where I don't have to work for anybody. I would never work for anybody again. Never work for anybody again, you guys. Not unless I wanted to learn some type of skill or something, but I don't plan on working for anybody. I want to stay on the right side of money, right? So check this out, you guys. I want you guys to be real, right? Now, me personally, I cheated my whole way out of high school. My whole way I cheated out of high school. I didn't know how I was going to get out. How many of you guys can agree that you cheated in school before? Test, quiz, something? Yes, I have. All right, anybody else? Okay, okay, we're keeping it real. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. So check this out, family. Now, this is why y'all gonna like this. And even if you was the one that let people copy off your paper, you still gonna like this, right? Now, this, now I want y'all to listen to me on this one, right? I want y'all to really listen to me on this one, right? So what you're looking at right now is the harmonic scanner. It does 87% of the work. So what we call it is our learn as you earn strategy. Meaning as you're learning the process, you have the opportunity to earn money while you're learning. Because just like in school, you had the opportunity to pass the test because you copied somebody else's paper. You didn't know what was going on in that test, but guess what, you still got the benefit for the grade, right? It's the same thing like, let's just say you want six pack abs, but you don't feel like going to the gym. But I went to the gym for you and then you still got the six pack. How many of you guys would like that? Come on, mute. let me know. Love it, love it. <laughs> come back six Thank pack. You. Yeah. <laughs> come back six pack be on whoa so check this out y'all this is why i love this so this harmonic scanner some of us call it our side boo and it's our side boo because we spend a lot of time with it making money right so this is the only side boo that your partner is going to allow you to have i guarantee right so let's check this out if we go over to the right side where y'all see me moving my cursor then we see where it says entry take profit one take profit two Anybody? Yes, I see you. Yeah. So what y'all yep. think? What y'all think it mean when I say entry? Come in. Enter. Enter. Yes. Yes. So you see what I'm saying? It don't take a lot of rocket sciences. Y'all got to be smart. This ain't about algebra and trigonometry. This is about adding and subtracting. And if you don't know how to add and subtract, guess what? We got that cell phone, so don't even trip. If you don't know how to spell right, it's okay. Just at least know how to spell entry, stop loss, and take profit. If you don't know how to spell nothing else, it's okay. We got people from the age of eight years old to 
80 years old learning this. The same education. The education is no different from an eight-year-old than it is from an 80-year-old. Our education is based on everybody being able to learn it. So if you would have entered this trade right here, like it told you to, and you would have came over here, and let's just say you put these numbers in your cell phone, because the app is called MetaTrader 4, you guys. It's a MetaTrader 4 app. And within this app, I'm going to pull this app up. Um, within this app, you guys, um, I don't know if y'all can really see it, but within this app, this is where you place the numbers at. So, for example, I'm on the place the screen, uh, the trade screen. So, in the green line, I will put this number because it's my take profit, meaning this. I want the market to hit this point so it can knock me out in the market and I can make my money. And right here, this word, I mean, um, down here at the bottom. The stop, that's my stop loss. So basically, a lot of people are always worried about the risk. Well, I want to invest, but what's the risk? What's the risk? What's the risk? Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. Life is a risk. You can get married and that person be crazy. That's a risk. You can put your ATM uh, card in the, in the machine and that's a risk, right? But with Forex, you can calculate your risk. So if this trade didn't go, let's just say we was like, look, I want to make $50 off of this. But if my $50 don't make, I only want to risk losing $5. Then there you go. Make sure y'all keep your phones muted. A lot of y'all come off mute. There you go then. There's no surprise. Either you're going to win uh, 50 or you're going to risk 5 and 5 going to be minus from your account. But it's your choice. You can risk to only lose a dollar. It's up to you. It's one of those things where either you win or you lose. Will you win all of them? No. Will you have a better opportunity of winning more than you lose? Yes. That's what we definitely do teach you. But that's what everything in life, right? So. If y'all would have entered right here, if you check this out, do y'all see these? Now, these red and, and these blue things that you see, these are candlesticks. Now, can y'all agree that these candlesticks went all the way up to money point two? If y'all look at money point two, there's like a dotted line that goes across. Have these candles passed through this dotted line? Y'all see why I've got my arrow? Yes. Yes, they have. Everybody, anybody else don't see it? Right there, right? I'm drawing the arrow so you can see the lines right there. So that passed through that. So what that means is if you would have put these numbers in your cell phone, you don't got to look at your phone all day. Once you put the numbers in, the market's going to do what it do. So you would have cashed out. How much would you cashed out? Let's talk about it. Right? We're going to do some simple math. So this thing went up. Let's just say you took it up farther. It went up 248 points now this is how i want y'all to imagine this right 248 248 now i want y'all to imagine for each point that it go up whatever amount of money you bid that's how much you get so let's just say we bid five dollars a point so that means the first point five dollars the second point was ten dollars so this went up 248 points so let's do it times the five dollars so we would have made $1,240 if we came in of a bid of $5. How long would it took us to make that money? It would have took us six days and 22 hours. It's saying right there, 6D to 22R. Now, how many of you guys will be okay with taking $5, waiting six days to make $1,200? I would. Most definitely. Yes, ma'am. Now, does anybody make that at their job? Every five to six days is your job. Do you make about twelve hundred? Heck no. Nope. You get what I'm saying? This is what I want y'all to think about, though. This is why this is why I say you have the opportunity to retire in fifty-two weeks versus forty years because forex is the solution. Why is it the solution? Because we're teaching you how to take five stinking dollars and multiply. Now, let's look at it from a different avenue. Let's just say we only came in with a dollar. If we came in with a dollar, then we would have made two forty eight in six hours off of five, off a dollar. But shoot, that's better than the dollar you got now because guess what you're going to do with your dollar? You're going to go spend it at Chick-fil-A or something. Popeyes, McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut. Get you some coffee. Get you a black and mild. I don't know. When you could take that same dollar and put it into the Forex market and multiply it. Now, let's just say we did $10 a bid. That's 2,480 in six days. Let's just say we did $2.50 times the 248. That's $620 in six days. So the move never changed. So it all depends on how much you bid. 
however much you bid, however many points it go up or down. If this thing would have only went, you know, if it would have only went, um, if we would just put our money here to here, you, you would do 169 times your bidding number. Regardless of what I'm saying, I don't care if this takes you two weeks. I don't care if this teach, takes you six months. What we're showing you is how to take a small amount of money, as small as 10 cents. We could have did it with 10 cents. It could have made about uh, maybe $2 or something. But the whole point is the change that you got now is not going to do anything for you because you don't have the financial education. What I'm telling you guys is that we have the financial education, the technology, and the community support that's going to teach you to get from A to pay. A is where you at right now, but pay is where you want to be, right? Pay is where you want to be, you guys. So I just wanted to take the time. I wanted to show you guys the harmonic scanner. So really quick, before we get in how you get started with this, let me, let me just come off of here real quick. And we're almost done. I want to just come over here. I want to ask y'all something. Let me see. TJ, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Amazing, TJ. Let me ask you a question now. Um, what's your favorite kind of car? Favorite kind of car? I'd say a good old school Cadillac. All right. Caddy, Caddy. What's the outside color and the inside color? Let's see. Outside color, black. Okay. It's uh, red and black leather. Okay, black and red and black leather. What the hell is looking like? Keep it factory from now. I don't want to show off too much, man. Okay, okay. Factory rims, black. Okay, cool. So 2020, I'm suggesting, right? Mm hmm Okay, cool, CJ. So check this out, man. I'm outside your door, right? I got that 2020 Chevy, black, black on red with the factory rims. And I'm like, look, TJ, I just got this car. I'm going to give it to you. You're my boy. But I at least need about $240 in the next four hours or I can't give you this car. If you didn't have that money, TJ, but you know that's your car, you want that car, would you do whatever it took to get the money for the car? Yeah. Yeah, right? It's the type of car you want. Somebody give it to you for two forty, dollars right? Yeah that's, a, yeah, that's a deal right there. As a deal. Hey, let me know. Y'all put it in the comment bar. I want y'all to think about the type of car that you like, right? I want you to think about that car. And if I gave you the same scenario, I want you to just uh, put I would, right? Just put it real quick in the comment bar. I want to see, right? I want to see if you would take a deal like that. Let's see if you're a smart investor, right? Let's see. Can I let, okay, somebody said I would. Somebody said, yep, yep. Y'all must be thinking about them cars. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. Somebody said I would. I would. Okay, Chris, let's go. All right, somebody say, yeah, I would. Okay, Pete, yep. All right, all right. So check this out. Now, we we would do that for our car, right? Now, check this out. Now, is a car an asset or a liability? Y'all put that in the chat bar. Or y'all can say it and come off mute. Is it a liability or liability. asset? Liability. Liability. Liability, because you got to pay for it. It don't bring you money. Bring you no money, okay? So let's think about this real quick. So we would damn near do whatever it took to get the money for a car, but it's a liability. Just think real quick. Now, let me ask you something. Is your financial education a liability or asset? I would say asset because it brings you money. Let's go. Anybody else? Asset or liability? Asset. All right. Anybody okay. else? Asset. Wait, asset. asset. Okay. 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 Now, check this out, family. Now, I told y'all I was going to keep it real, real with y'all tonight, right? And I want you, at, at the end of the day, I want you to keep it real with you. Now, are you guys honestly agree that within four hours, you would have that money for that car, right? So I want you guys to know that to join this community is only $235. Now, if this makes sense to you financially, if it can bring you time freedom, if it can bring you more money, if it can bring you more financial literacy, why not do it? Because here's the thing. Even if you don't have the money, this is where you got to get real with. This is, this is where you got to get real with yourself. Even if you didn't have the money right now, the 235, you guys just already told me that you would do anything to get the money in four hours for a car that's not going to change your bank account. The car is not going to create generational wealth. 
So with that being said, I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys within the community because, I, and I would like to see you guys within the next 24 hours since we all know that we can go out and get the money. So don't let the excuse of, I don't have the money stop you when you just said that you would go get the money for the car. Now, let me tell you the difference between the mindsets of the people on this call. Now, we got the wealthy mindset and the poor mindset. Now, see, the poor mindset went into panic mode like, oh, my gosh, I don't got 235, but just forgot that they would do 235 for a car. Poor mindset said, oh, my gosh, I don't got 235, but forgot about the cable bill that you can get turned off because the cable not bringing you no money. The poor mom said, said, oh my gosh, 235, I don't have that, but you forgot about how many times you go out to eat. You forgot about how many times you go to the club and pour it up. You forgot about how many times you're going out smoking all that weed. So we got to change our mind and think like wealthy people. We got to see that. We got to see that 235 like, hell yeah. I just said I would do it for a car. Why wouldn't I do it for an asset? Why wouldn't I do it for my generation of wealth? Why wouldn't I do it so I could pay off these, gener uh, these uh, Sally Mae loans? Why wouldn't I do it so I can get this new car? Why wouldn't I do it so I can leave this job that I hate? Those are the type of people I want to work with. So if that's you, Definitely, I want to work with you, right? So check this out, you guys. Before we close this out, right? Before we close this out. Now, 235 is is your startup cost, right? Just like if you was going to go to Verizon or AT&T, when you first get there, you're going to pay a startup cost to get your phone turned on, to get it activated, and then every month you'll pay a smaller amount for your bill. If you want to keep talking to your boo, you got to keep paying your bill. So it's the same thing for this. So you're going to sign up today because I know half of y'all going to sign up because you got the money. We already know we don't need to research. The only thing we need to do is research our bank account. We know we got time to do it because we on social media. We on YouTube. We on Twitter all day long, and it's not making us no money, right? We believe in ourselves because we know that there's nothing that we cannot accomplish. That's how brilliant you guys are. God has gifted you all with the right talents and gifts to be able to do anything in this world. So it's not that you can't do this, right? So when you pay the 235 today, today is the 22nd, right? That means one month from today, that's when your tuition is going to come in. Your tuition is going to be 175, right? But remember, we're turning off the cable. We're cutting back on smoking weed. We're cutting back on drinking alcohol. So all of that stuff that will go to there, we're going to start shifting that money for the membership. Right now, if you want a free membership because you want to apply for the scholarship, now we do got a scholarship program. Once you're inside of the program, you can qualify for the scholarship, but you have to sign up first before you can qualify for the scholarship. And the scholarship says, hey, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is not network marketing. That's what I really love about it. You don't have to sell anything to anybody and you don't have to recruit. Why? Because you're learning a skill set. You're learning something. You're not selling insurance. You're not selling doTERRA. You're not selling herbal life. You're learning for yourself. So when I go into this app right now, and if I make a trade, whether you guys get started or not, that's not going to stop my money. I don't need you to make money. I know a skill set. I know financial literacy. So you don't have to sell a recruit to be able to make money. But if you want to help two people also learn this, do you got to teach them? No. Do you got to know everything? No. Do you got to be making all the big money first? No. Lose leverage. Use the system. So when you come in, your two people come in, guess what? This, the 175 is canceled. You can get a free membership. As long as your two people stay actively engaging and paying their membership, that makes your membership free, you guys. You don't even have to pay a monthly to learn something that's going to teach you how to grow your money. Let me know what school does that. Anybody know a school that allows you to tell two of your friends and then you just don't have to pay your Sally Mae loan? Nope. Hmm. Real, yeah. real quiet, right? So remember, you guys, I'm not here to convince you. At the end of the day, I know the success of people all around me. I know my success. Um, I want to overcook the grits, but we got three types of people on this call today. The A type of person was like, sign me up. I don't got the money right now, but guess what? I'm going to go find that money within four hours. The A person was like, sign me up. I got the money right now. I'm ready. I'm ready for financial freedom. Now, the B type of person was like, you know, but I'm broke, but I'm going to find the money, but I got some questions. 
And if that's you, get back with the person that invited you. Let them know, look, I'm serious. I just got a couple questions. And then the C person, if that's you, the C person is, hey, I see y'all at work tomorrow. I would rather continue to exchange my time and energy for a job. I would rather continue to just think about me and not think about my generation. If that's you, I apologize for wasting your time on this call. I hope and trust and pray that you know you find some type of financial literacy that's going to help you and your bloodline but without further ado you guys go ahead like i said get back with the person that invited you i'll catch you guys at the beach the bank all around the world you guys all right peace and love oh you guys can find me on uh instagram as isis i s i s underscore love 511 that's isis isis underscore love 511 check out the journey right now me and one of my business partners are on the spread the love tour we're going to be down in la london germany and amsterdam you guys educate people on financial literacy peace